You're used to her voice, but today you're going to see her up close and personal. A local radio personality back from a life-changing trip in Africa, and she's got a great story to tell. Allison DeBurs went to Kenya for a mission trip th this year where you came face-to-face -face with poverty um, and so many things. I think um, a lot of folks, you even describe yourself as a girly girl. Mm -hmm. So, Kenya. Yes. Uh, tell us why you went. It's actually a unique reason. Well, about 22 years ago, I think even before that there was live aid something inside of me when i saw the children who were malnourished with the flies around their head back then something said to me you're going to go do that someday you're going to go help these people and a couple of years ago i had gotten extremely ill and when i began to feel better i didn't want to be fear driven anymore i wanted to do something that would help others and yet help me so Every year, Africa mission trips would come and go, but it wasn't the right time. And this year, because there was an orphanage, the women's prison, right. I didn't want to build a well like yes. in the past yeah. when they would go. This was ideal for me. So I believe there was an appointed time, and this was it. Did you go with a group? You weren't like on your own with a backpack. No, I was with a group, but I didn't have a best friend, and I didn't have my husband. So it was, I was a big girl, you know what I mean, to yeah. go by myself. My pastor was there, but it wasn't like he held my hand, yeah. although he watched my back at all yeah. times. And security was probably an issue, and I know you brought photos for us. Mm -hmm. um, first, talk about the poverty, and, and was security something you felt worried about? You know, I believed that I was meant to do this, so I didn't, I, I didn't have fear. I put it out on Facebook that I actually wanted to go to, the, to Kenya, and all of a sudden, the, all of the donations just kept coming in, so I never took a penny out of my pocket. So I knew that I was meant to do this, and if I was meant to do this, I didn't need to be afraid. But fear does set in because I was the, the only blonde in Africa, that's yeah. what I would say, yeah. and it was so poor. Um, but I had security around me. I had men who had like machetes in their back pockets and I didn't even know that they did. I'm just going to interrupt you. Explain sure. this photo that we're seeing right here. Oh, this is at the Crusades. Every single night, like a Billy Graham crusade, we would have people, um, thousands and thousands of people come up to the stage and they would want prayer. And so I would go out into, into the into the audience, you would say, and these people were so desperate for prayer. Um, they would pray for healing, and they, not that I can heal, of course, that God would heal them, mm -hmm. but that's what I would do. I would just pray for them, and it was heart wrenching to see. They had, they had the same clothes on every day, the same yeah. shoes. And you also went to an orphanage. What was that like? Difficult to leave, I would imagine. Yes. Um, Every time I would leave a crusade or, or the orphanage, I would cry because it was, for me, women and children are my heart. And the or inside the orphanage, I don't know if we have a picture, yep. there we are, we're giving yep. out um, gifts to them, dental supplies and even candy, even that sounds like a contradiction, but kids need candy, they don't see it. We went inside and the beds were stacked one on top of the other. and. Um, it was just really sad. It was really sad to see the kids, but they're not sad. They're so grateful. They appre they're so appreciative. They're just beautiful people, and they're gracious and kind and fun, and they dance and sing. It's so unlike us. What did you bring back with you? And I don't mean materialistically a gift. What did you bring back? I'm not afraid to do anything. Um, I'm not afraid of spiders or snakes or um, to travel that far around the world. I came home appreciating um, who I am as a woman. I hear from women all the time how they're not pretty enough, smart enough, thin enough. And I, here I was preaching that to them. Yes, you are. Love who you are. Forgive yourself. Yet I wasn't doing that. I was still living in fear. I still wasn't loving who I was. And after this, I was like, you're awesome. You know, I don't mean it in a vain way, right. but if I have faith in God as my father and I was created in his image, how can I not be great? Well, Allison, thanks for coming in and showing the pictures. It's good to see you Thank in person. You. Of course, Thank you probably you. recognize her voice from WRCH on the, on the air all the time. If you want a little bit more information, you can go to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.